Are you ready for a final act of the night? Yeah. Woo! One of my favourite acts, I love him. Give him some love. It's Jacob, everyone. <laughs> so how are we doing, everyone? Sweet, audience participation finished. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jacob Conn. I grew up obese with Asperger's syndrome and Jewish. So, um, <laughs> as you can imagine, I had a lot of fun at school. <laughs> I had a nickname at school, it was um, Fadge. <laughs> you wouldn't think, you think fashionable athletic Jacob. <laughs> Fat autistic Jew. <laughs> Great nickname. <laughs> Acronym accurate. <laughs> Double A rated. Um, I think I'm gonna get fat again. <laughs> Honestly. Like life's just better when you're fat. You know, I put in so much work and I look like this. What was the fucking point? <laughs> It was like a massive egotistical exercise in turd polishing. <laughs> no, you know, honestly, I was I never got fat enough as well. That was my problem. I was never so fat where if someone called me fat, my other friends would be like, alright. <laughs> Steady on <man." laughs> I was that perfect level of fat where it was consistently funny. <laughs> On the extra mile, I could have got myself a scooter, you know. <laughs> Channel 5 documentary. <laughs> Not in life. Nah, autism's great. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, no eye contact. <laughs> now, when you tell someone you're autistic, you get one of three reactions. The first one is, you've got, I'm autistic. They'll be like, oh wow, I can never tell. And you'll be like, yeah. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Second one is, I'll be like, guys, I've got to tell you something. I've always been a little bit different. I've got Asperger's stuff. We know! <laughs> Everybody knows. We can all tell. But the final one, like, you tell someone you're autistic, they'll give you a fucking mental maths quiz, like you fucking rain man. <laughs> I, I can barely register a genuine smile. And I'm not even talking about Pythagoras fucking thing. <laughs> no, being Jewish, lots of fun. Um, there's great things about being Jewish, you know? Offbeat hymns, great bagels, funny history lessons. You know? <laughs> My favourite thing about being Jewish, though, is you get full white privilege with zero guilt. <laughs> I didn't make that up, my rabbi told me. <laughs> Honestly, you'd be surprised what you can get away with saying when you've got a holocaust to fall back on. <laughs> Don't get me started on those crusades. <laughs> no, it's, it's one thing I find weird though, the modern day anti-Semite, the modern day neo-Nazi. Now, I'm not trying to support them, I promise. <laughs> but they're always trying to deny the holocaust happened. That goes against everything they believe in, surely. Like, if I was a new master, I'd be pointing to the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any stoners in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Biggest reaction I've ever got to that. It's a young crowd. <laughs> No, honestly, I'm a bit of a fucking degenerate when it comes to the weed. I can spend a lot of time smoking weed if I want to. I'm not a drug addict. I just wake up sweating every day and swear at my mum all the time. <laughs> no, we live in denial of weed smokers, you know? We, we feel like there's these beacons of hope for our culture, you know? We, we look at someone like Snoop Dogg or like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Seth Rogen is the pothead Malala. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed to say it, I'm Gen Z. My, bro my brother's always telling me I'm Gen Z. He's like, you're Gen Z. I'm a millennial. Like, he's so fucking happy that he was born in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> 
tough, you know, like it's hard to be Gen Z because you have all this fucking social media thrown at you and you know what I mean, fat autistic pothead dude, like, like <laughs> fucking uh, that dopamine trick of likes, I just can't, I can't get enough of it. Right? <laughs> fucking, I'm the kind of guy, I'll write, I'll think of like a really like clever statement about the dangers of social media and then I'll spend hours trying to condense it into 280 characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a 90s baby though, you know. 99 definitely counts. <laughs> I love 90s music, you know, like Nirvana. It's a great band, but I heard them on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I'm, I'm a fucking music snob, which is a bit of a fucking contradiction because I'm also a drum and bass DJ. <laughs> As you can see, it's going great. <laughs> no, it's funny, people fucking like. When I started DJing, I realised that a great reaction is people telling me, FUCK OFF! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine my first few stand-up spots were pretty confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this one thing that people say when they're listening to drum and bass. They're like, um, Oh, that drop was so filthy! Oh, it made me want to drop kick my nan! <laughs> I think we should make it more positive, you know? Get a little bit more wholesome with it, you know? That bass line was so filthy, it made me want to save the whale. <laughs> <laughs> I've got anger management issues. It's not, yeah. <laughs> I've got anger management issues. Like, I'll keep a lid on it most of the time. Then every now and then I'll drop a sandwich and I'll be like, FUCK! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this hand, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little curve. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> no, there's a little curve in this hand, and I've broken this hand three times from punching concrete walls. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like the dictionary definition of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Deontay Wilder with the worst record. <laughs> the wall has the belt, you know? <laughs> I need to set more like achievable goals for dealing with my anger management. That's why I'm going to move to Southern America. I'm going to buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to buy one of those Hurricane Katrina houses that's made out of like Popsicle sticks and fucking paper mache, you know? That's <laughs> straight! <laughs> I think that's everything I've got. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone!